What's going on my fellow photoshoppers, it's Conti here with another photoshopping tutorial. In today's tutorial we are going to have a go at creating an image of a hand silhouette behind frosted glass. So Photoshop windows open at the ready. Don't forget to use Command instead of Control or Option instead of Alt if you're a Mac user. Open up your hand image, double click on the hand layer to convert it to a layer. Call this normal hand. Click OK. Go to the magic wand tool. Left click once on the white background around the hand. Press delete. Press Ctrl D to deselect. Go to create a new layer. Rename the layer background. Drag the background layer to the bottom. Double click on your foreground color box and choose the color code C8C8C8. Keep the background color as white. Press OK. Go to Filter, Render and Clouds. Still on the background layer, go to Filter, Blur and Gaussian Blur. Change the pixel count in the Gaussian Blur window to 70 pixels. Click OK. Hold Control on your keyboard and left click on the normal hand layer. Create a new layer. Drag the new layer up to the top. Hold Shift and press Backspace. Fill the selection in the new layer with the color black. Click OK. Press Control and D to deselect. Double click on the layer name to rename this Dark Hand. Right click on the Dark Hand layer again and choose Duplicate Layer. Rename this duplicate layer Blurry Hand. Click OK. Go to the Dark Hand layer. Go to Filter, Blur and Gaussian Blur. Choose 4 pixels. Return to the Blurred Hand layer. Go to Filter, Blur and Gaussian Blur again. Set the pixel count this time to 15. Click OK. Select your eraser tool. I'm going to use a 350 pixel sized eraser with a 50% opacity. Use soft round also. Make the blurred hand layer invisible to help you with the next part of your task. Select the dark hand layer. Drag your eraser cursor down to the bottom of your canvas so that the lower half of the circle is off canvas, the upper half remains on canvas and the centre of the circle is pointing directly to the corner of your wrist. Click five times. Go to the other side of the wrist and repeat the same process. Make your blurry hand layer visible once more. Select the same layer. Reduce the eraser opacity to 20%. Drag the eraser cursor to the same position as you did with the dark hand layer. This time only click once on either side. Then move your cursor to the center of the wrist. Drag the eraser cursor down so only about a quarter of the circle appears on the canvas. Left click once. Click on the normal hand layer. Increase the opacity to 50%. Go back to the same position with your eraser cursor as you did with the previous two layers and left click once on either side. Select the dark hand layer. Left click to the left side of the index finger, drag your mouse cursor over the fingers below the fingertips twice. Increase your eraser size to 450 pixels. With the dark hand layer still selected, drag your erase tool between the thumb and the index finger so that about a third of the eraser circle contains the hand. Left click four times. Select the blurred hand layer. Change the opacity to 20%. For this particular image, I'm going to reduce the eraser size now to 180 pixels. Keep the brush 
for the eraser setting as soft round. With the blurry hand layer selected, double click on each of the finger and thumb tips apart from the little finger. Drag your normal hand layer to the top of your layer list. Go to Filter, Blur and Gaussian Blur. Choose 15 pixels, click OK. Go to your blending options and choose Multiply. Thank you very much for watching, hope you enjoyed the video. To support this channel please like and subscribe. Join me soon for another photoshopping tutorial. Take care.